Welcome back. Well, we dropped below freezing around midnight, midnight last night, and we're probably not going to get above the freezing mark until about noon tomorrow. So 36 hours below freezing and we'll only be above freezing for a few hours tomorrow before another hard freeze tomorrow night. So let's take a look at the big picture is that big dome of high pressure has been bringing in that Arctic air delivery from Siberia. It took about nine days to get here from that part of the planet to our part, and you can see how cold it is across much of the nation's sub-zero readings uh, from uh, the Ohio Valley on northwestward and now some of that colder air also pushing off to the east and it's not only the temperature it's those darn wind chills as well wind chills here got as low as zero to five this morning across the area which is as cold as they get but not as bad as 20 30 below and we're seeing that all the way over toward Pittsburgh they were 30 below last hour so some brutal wind chills as well on top of the snowflakes and blizzard conditions that have been occurring. Look at this low pressure system. This is current. This is a wound up low producing showers in the east and then on the backside it's been snow and mostly blowing snow. Look at this blizzard warning still back to the Dakotas not because there's any snow coming from the air. Snow's blowing across the roadways and high winds, low temperatures, reducing visibilities and then you have winter storm warnings across much of the area where we're not having blizzard warnings. Blizzard warning in effect for the Buffalo area. It's been a heck of a December for those folks there going back to November as well. Meanwhile, here locally, we're looking at generally fair skies, but more importantly, this is why I'll be watching this feature right here. We got to see if this uh, cloud deck expands and it should with an upper level disturbance. It's not going to bring us any precipitation, but should bring us some high clouds to act as a blanket across the area, and hopefully that will kind of keep temperatures from going too low tonight. Nonetheless, hard freeze warning for tonight through Saturday. Uh, midday and then again Saturday evening through Sunday morning as expected and on top of that we still have a wind chill advisory through nine o'clock tomorrow morning wind chills tonight not as bad as last night but still down into the single digits to lower teens across the board so if you're heading on out you got to bring all the coats not just some of them all of them <laughs> so overnight tonight cold still breezy temperatures get down into the lower 20s notice the model not showing a whole lot of high clouds so I think we're kind of ripe for a bust on temperatures, but we're already in hard freeze territory, so mid teens possible, but I don't think we see that for now. Mid to upper 30s tomorrow afternoon, back down into the 20s tomorrow night. At least we see sunshine and going into Christmas morning, we're going to have much lighter winds. So tomorrow morning, we might see some patchy frost. It was too windy last night to see any frost at any moisture evaporates too quickly tonight and areas protected from the wind. We could see some patchy frost, but tomorrow night into Christmas morning, the winds are going to lighten up. We're going to see a moderate to heavy frost and thus We'll get our southern style white Christmas here and only for a few hours in the morning. So you got to get up early Christmas morning to see the frosty conditions, but it could make for some beautiful pictures across the area. So keep that in mind. Upper teens to lower 20s tonight. Northern parishes uh, will go with that cloud cover and we may have to adjust these numbers as the evening wears on. Lower 20s across the I-10 quarter again with that wind chill factor uh, making it feel colder. Lower 20s coastal parishes as well. Not much change with the north wind temperatures tomorrow in the mid to upper 30s pretty much across the board getting close to 40 in a few spots but we'll probably stay on the cold side of 40 but going into Christmas Day we should re see readings getting into the mid 40s with lots of sunshine so the cold weather you like for Christmas uh, but hopefully getting out of those hard freezes at night here's the wind chills tomorrow morning in the lower teens most areas and then tomorrow uh, wind chills stay in the 20s most of the day and then uh, we'll see less of a wind chill factor going into tomorrow night because we'll see the less wind going through Christmas morning, but bottom line, cold weather through Christmas day. That's for sure. Uh, you can see the winds, the sustained winds gusts can be higher, but notice how the winds drop down nicely tomorrow night, and that'll allow for very frosty conditions as we head into our Christmas morning. So overnight tonight, temperatures dropping down into the lower 20s. Wind chills again, 8 to 14. If it's clear and we don't see these high clouds, we're going to favor mid to upper teens, so keep that in mind. Nonetheless, 
less is cold anyway you slice it. Then for tomorrow, getting above uh, the freezing mark right around the midday hours. Those wind chills mostly in the 20s, but 39 the high, and that's going to feel a lot nicer than what we had today, where it will be some 8 to 10 degrees warmer than what we saw today. Tomorrow night, another hard freeze in the mix. We're going 23 the low, but favorable winds for Santa. That's the good news, and also a moderate to heavy frost. So it could be nice and frosty come Christmas morning. As we look at the 10-day forecast, a warming trend into next week. Highs back into the 50s, and then low to mid 70s going into next week. And along with that, it looks like we're going to be getting into a little bit of a stormy period with rain chances and the chance of showers and thunderstorms into New Year's Eve. And that pattern looks to continue into the first week of January. So after this cold outbreak, it's back to 70s once again. That's it for weather for right now. We're going to have more coming up right after the break.